Hi guys, it's reaction time. Firstly, I want to say thank you to Falling Below, the brilliant UK hard rock band. They're bringing out their debut EP on November the 10th, self-titled EP. The first two singles so far have been amazing. Liar and Second Encounter. You've got to check them out, guys. You're going to love them. Um, okay, on to the reaction. So sometimes I get, as I've said to you guys before, a lot of my reactions, mostly come through recommendations from you guys. You you email me or messenger me or whatever it is um, and give me some ideas of what to do on reactions. And, you know, a lot of them make it through because you know what I like. Um, some of them come from the record companies and, you know, they are forever grateful for this, getting sent stuff early. It's just amazing. And sometimes the bands themselves, they send me stuff and say, you know, can you give us a, a bit of a go on your channel? And... This is the case with this song. So one of the guys from this band, I think I'm pronouncing this correctly, hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, Kariga, um, have sent me, said their albums came out on the 6th of October, which is, that's just yesterday, isn't it? So um, I thought, right, okay, reaction is the best way. You know what I mean? Let's, let's do a reaction. Um, so I went on, looked at their videos, the, the newest one I could find come out a few months ago, but off of this new album. Um, and this guy uh, out of the band, uh, Magnus, his name was, he said to me, like, we're a sludge metal band, sludge groove metal band. So sometimes, you know, sludge and groove metal, sometimes if the, if the vocals are just screaming and shouting, I, I can't get along with. And some of that is the case. I clicked on this, video which i'm going to do forever merciless and had a quick like flick through just at points and i, I love the guy's vocals so i was thinking you know i mean it's, it's just aggressive but it's not too aggressive for me and i thought yeah let's give this a go i mean when it comes to groove metal as well the the musicianship the and that's what it's about the groove you know pantera are probably the people say they are the the founders of groove metal and i love pantera you know so um hopefully i'm gonna fucking love this you know i love this if it makes it onto the channel and, and i'm uploading this reaction and you're looking at this video now you know i'm gonna love it because if i don't love it i will not upload um newish sort of band you know what i mean they're not fucking you know they've got quite a few views on their on their videos but we've got to support these bands you know what i mean we've got to give them good promotion if they're good so this is kariga and this is forever merciless i think it's going to be fucking heavy from snippets i've heard but here we go guys
how heavy is this fucking song? The heaviest thing I've heard today for sure, man. Fuck. I mean, it's heavy. It's beyond heavy. It, the fucking, I mean, this is groove metal personified, isn't it? Because it's in the fucking word. If you say this song hasn't got groove, you're not, you must be dead. You must be a, or a fucking zombie or something because it's got so much groove, so much heaviness, you know, those dirty sort of fucking riffs just hitting so fucking hard. Wow, it's fucking heavy. And you know what I love? The guy's vocals are so aggressive, but you can hear every single fucking word he's saying. And it's just, it matches the aggression of the music perfectly i actually don't think i'd like it any other way i just think it's the perfect vocal for this fucking full fuck i mean my neck is fucked and you just can't help it you know that they've hit the spot if you just can't help your fucking head going as soon as that riff came in i was like fuck me man and i love the different types of speeds to it as well you've got like a chugging sort of faster part to it which i love it sounds amazing and I'll tell you what, the fucking guitars, they sound fucking brilliant. I always say the, the sweet spot or what you should aim for if you're in a groove metal band is the guitar sound on Far Beyond Driven. In particular, Five Minutes Alone. That fucking song is what you should aim for when it comes to guitar tone in this sort of band. And I think they fucking got it spot on, man. It sounds fucking amazing. It really does. But apart from all the fucking heaviness, I can handle fucking heaviness as long as it's got melody. And that chorus, it's just brilliant because it's almost slowed down. It almost soared to a certain effect. Not vocally soared, but it didn't need to. I don't all of a sudden want an operatic fucking vocal coming in. It wouldn't fit it. But you know what I mean? It sort of like slowed down. It was really catchy and it got me. And that's only one round of choruses. I think the second chorus is just about to start or has just started. But it's doing everything I want. If you say to me, Lee, I've got a great sludge stroke groove metal song i want it to do what you fucking say it's gonna do <laughs> i want it to be groove laden i want it to be fucking heavy i want it to have melody as well and i think they fucking perfected that it's just fucking brilliant i love obviously melodic rock aor heavy rock heavy metal southern rock you know i love all that and you know i mean i always love that but sometimes I want to fucking break my neck and listen to something that can't fucking, you know, is so heavy. And this is doing it for me, for sure, without going into the extreme side of metal. Do you know what I mean? People would say this is a bit extreme. I wouldn't say that. It, You know, it's almost got, vocally, it's almost like a testament type feel, but maybe a little bit more aggressive. You know what I mean? But it's got to be. Listen to those riffs. Can't have someone like fucking harmonising and shit and fucking do it over this, you know, or having a fucking falsetto. You've got to have those aggressive vocals and I think it fits the, the band perfectly. God, this is heavy. This is brilliant. Let's go for the rest, guys.
fucking hell, man. That breakdown, that's what you want. You want a breakdown that's so fucking heavy and that that was amazing, that part. That part after the solo was just fucking full on. Was it before the solo? I think my head's rattled around so much I can't even think straight. But that bit where he's like, Denon, Denon, and then the double kick drum came in. Wow. Heaviness. <laughs> I, I think that's my point. That's my perfect point of heaviness. Any further, <laughs> I don't know if I could have handled it. It was almost like that's as heavy as I want it. That is the point. The perfect point, by the way. It's fucking brilliant. It's fucking heavy. It's neck breaking. That was amazing. I believe the album's out now. The album's out now. So straight away, man, I'm on it. I am on that. And I'm noticing that solo as well. We almost had a... Which Pantera had as well. Almost had that southern sludgy sort of feel in the solo. A southern feel to it slightly. I felt that. You know, almost like down, you know, that down feel that Phil Anselmo's other band, of course, that amazing down band, which I love. I fucking love them. Absolutely amazing. I love that. That's the last reaction of the day. Might not be get uploaded last, but I saved the heaviest till last. <laughs> I sort of knew it was going to be really heavy. So I thought, right, let's save that till last. Let's fucking, and man, it didn't let me down whatsoever. That was Kariga. That was forever merciless. That was fucking heavy. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, guys, and I'll see you soon.